bro. It's so fucking cold outside. 16 degrees right now. Fucking chilly. I should have brought a bowl. So anyway, um, I just seen Gurren. All right, first of all, I'm gonna say a bunch of. I'm gonna mispronounce a bunch of words on this video. So I never heard him say it out loud. You know, so yeah. I just seen Gurren Logan just now. Uh, it's in theaters today only. Well, actually, there's two shows. Uh, Gurren Logan, uh, a childhood, a childhood in, a childhood's in was the one today. Um, oh man, it was fucking. I mean, it really. It's just an abridged version of, of the show. Um, and it was really. It was done very well. Like they, even though like they have the producers and the creators earlier in the movie or a uh, little introduction video, they say, "Hey, this is just an abridged version of the show." You know, there gonna be some different things here and there, but it's just the abridged version. You know, um, and like I haven't seen Gurren Lagann since like the year after it came out. It was already dubbed, I remember, when I watched it. So like maybe like a year and a half or two after it first came out. So uh, over like what 10, 15 years ago, I think it was. But um, yeah, so I've never seen it dubbed. Um, I watched it subbed because I did not like Kamiya's voice, uh, Kam Kam Kamina's voice. I did not like his voice actor. Or the way he, the way he presented his voice, it really didn't seem guard to me. His his English voice, in Japanese, I was all like, ah, 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 you know, it was all that shit. But um, I did not like the English version of it, so I never seen it dubbed. I don't I don't know, so I'm not really comes, comes to any of the dubbed voice actors to to Gurren Lagann. But um, that was one of the first that was one of the first anime I've ever watched that I said I came to the dub. Like I've never I never really had that problem. I know a lot of people do have that problem where they go, I can't, I can just, the dub voices are horrible. But, but it, Kamiya's performance in the dub, I really did not enjoy that at all. So, um, that's the one that I, that I did. That's the one that I, I actually had to watch sub. But, um, yeah, I wish I watched dub for the movie because I want to focus more on the visuals. Because, you know, Gurren Lion is like a very, all those, all those, those guy, guy next, uh, anime series like Kill a Kill, Penny and Stocking, they're more like, you gotta focus on the visuals because they're so well done visually so i wanted to watch the dub this on this movie occasion and um yeah yeah there is very nice i don't know if it's redrawn or just the anime because i know um anime was so well done back then like it still holds up you know so i really don't know if that was even like redrawn i think that was like just the anime but like upscaled you know they're saying it's like 4k and shit so i yeah i i, I didn't look i didn't look that up or anything i i think it was, it was just no, I mean maybe not. Maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was redrawn. I don't know. But it's it's really it's literally just the anime abridged. Like there are cer like certain like some some episodes where like they show like a little clip of it. Like when they met the one guy with the yellow hair and his sisters. Like they show like a little thirty second clip of like the meeting. And like next thing you know they're with them. You know it was like that was like that. Like the bathhouse scene. It was all like they just show clips of the of them peeking through the bathhouse and like just like that you know even i was so surprised they had the eye catchers because girl like has really great eye catchers like all of them could be wallpapers you know and they had eye catchers as they were used as like in a passage of time you know like meanwhile you know like uh, let's cut like two days later type of thing it was it was really well done that was a really good movie um but i like the anime too though so like yeah it's, but yeah the movie was really well done um I guess it's it's the movie's been out for like years, but it's now just now getting dubbed and it's and it's in and it's doing a theatrical run, so um that's why it's like a big hoopla right about it right now because that's that has, it was never dubbed it was only available subbed I guess, um but yeah um so he the same voice Kami's voice the same guy same and I got used to it this time because like I was forced to so I couldn't like hit the remote and go uh, language options. But it's like he wasn't around for long anyway, you know. But um, yeah, it, I I I got used to it, you know. Um, he still wasn't um my cup of tea when it kind of comes to the direction of his voice, you know. But uh, I'm not gonna say he's a bad. I think it was Richard Epcar. I think it was. Was it Richard? Was he the voice actor to Kamiya? But yeah, um, yeah, it's really great. You know, it wasn't any censorship shit. Like Yoko was in there, all her little titty stuff from the first episode all the boobs jiggling and um there was like there was hardly any jiggles i don't remember was, was, was she jiggling in the first episode i know all the like moving across like the canyon and like a lot of emphasis on her titties and shit but she jiggled a lot in the second half and the first half wasn't really that many that was jiggle but tons of like eye candy shots you know 
in terms of like her like seductive poses, stuff like that. But um, it was more jiggly in the second half of the movie. First half was just like, you know, let's focus on the titties right quick. You know, we know what you're here for, boys. And it just reminded me of like, you know, my life, my mindset back then for like, I'm, or I was minded of like, you know, anime culture back then, you know, internet anime culture at that, you know, back then and just like, that was just normal, you know. But now, nowadays, it's like, I, I get so bombarded with all this Twitter shit. It's like, and it shows up on my feed on Twitter and I'm like, why? I don't care about these, these crybabies complaining about the age of anime girls. You know, all right, so Yoko's 16. That's, that's been known for a while. She's 16 years old, I believe. Yeah, the beginning of the series, she's 16. And, uh, 15 or 16. And it's like, I'm watching this show. All I can think of is like all these these little new fake anime fans that just complain about people's ages and shit. And like, and I'm like, what do y'all watch? I did this already on the body ep video, and I already got to do a video essay. I'm already in the planning stages of doing a video essay and everything about just current fandom. But it's like, what the fuck do y'all watch hentai wise? Because all anime is like fucking. The majority of this shit is just fucking teenagers, you know? But in, but anyway, I, I'm not going to get into that fucking thing right now. But yeah, it was a very great movie. The visuals were great. The only thing I hated, they did not play... Uh, look, I'm going to say this word. I'm going to say the name of this song, even though it's like one of my favorite top ten of all time songs. So Wario Days, the opening to Goran Lagan, the first opening. So Wario Days. I think it's the... Is, they ever change openings? I don't, I don't remember. But um, they didn't play it. And there was a few times where they could have played it, and there was, like, no music in the background at all. And I was like, oh, my God, this could have been a great part for Sororo Days. But they did play the other song she made. Uh, they did play that song at the end, or towards the end, like, for the for the final battle, like, part one, final battle of that, of that movie. And I was like, oh, it's, it's a consolation prize, but it's not Sororo Days. It's not Sororo Days. Ah, guys, like, I was sitting there, like, I, I would I would probably yelped if they did it, if they did Sororo Days, because I still, I still listen to that song religiously, like, it's still, like, in my, in my, like, you know, like, top 20 played of, of the year, you know, on my shit, you know, so, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, but really, the movie's really great, you know, the voice acting's really great, I'm not a fan of, like, the way Kamiya was directed, because, like, his voice didn't really seem guard to me, you know, Expecting like a, I'm expecting like a, I'm expecting like a deeper voice, you know, like, hey, what the fuck, you know, something like that, you know, he's, he's all like, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, um, yeah, yeah, because, like, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't seen Girl Lagan since it came out, like I said, I, I didn't rewatch really it, and like that, I didn't, I, I only seen it was the opening a thousand times, but yeah, it really, like, uh, hyped me up, you know, just who the hell do you think I am, I was like, yeah, who the fuck do you think we are, you know, uh, you know, it was a pretty, pretty nice size theater, um, one guy sat right the fuck next to me. I was trying to, like, get a seat. Actually, I, well, you know, I got to go online. You got to pick the seats and shit. One guy sat right the fuck next to me. I'm sitting there like, man, I, I got to share the armrest now. He's eating popcorn. Who goes to food theater and eats popcorn? Man. He, he paid more for the popcorn than a goddamn movie. It's, 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 it's like, man, he's sat. I'm like, man, it was two seats next to me he could have sat. But I was also, like, towards the middle. But anyway, uh. One guy, when I first got in there, one guy had some bad body odor. It felt like I was at a Smash tournament. It's like, I'm like, you couldn't take a shower before you got up here? Spray something? I mean, come on, guys. Look, look, we're, 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 we're getting old. You know, the whole body odor situation, we, we need to really grow up out of that, guys. I know some of us don't have the best um, cleanliness. I'm, t I'm talking to you as a bro right now, guys. Come on. we don't. I know all of us don't have the best, you know, hygiene but cologne, you know, body spray, soap, you know, you go somewhere public, take a shower. I'm talking to you as a friend right now, guys, please. All of us, we got to do better when it comes to that type of situation. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I know it's either one or th one or two guys. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I smell him from where I'm sitting. It's not like, I don't smell like, you know, a, a musty theater. I smell a musty man. And I'm, I'm just like, oh my fucking God, man, it's... He was killing me. Look, he was killing me. But but anyway, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so channel update. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I got three video essays. I'm gonna plan on doing. I'm um, writing a script and everything. You know, I'm gonna. I I I actually bought a, a 
a mic a microphone during Christmas, you know, and um, I'm, I'm gonna start like doing like actual put some effort into these videos, not just me sitting in the car like I got nowhere to go. Dude, a lot of black. I know somebody said that like like I think two years ago. They like they left the comment. It was like, "What's up with black guys always recording in their car?" And and like, and like there's a lot of black guys that just do this. They just record in their car. Um, well, I, well right, now, right now I live in an apartment. I can't really talk loud like this and like talk about what I want to talk about. So I wouldn't. I mean, if I was at my mom's house or some of this shit, I would do that. I would like sit, you know, sit there and like yell and shit. But like, I'm not gonna record in my apartment, and that might be the reason they do it too. Because this is guy. Um, he records. Uh, or he does like food reviews and he goes to different places and eat food and like he's always eating them in his car which makes sense because like when he eat it while it's hot you know I, I I get that I do get that but um I don't know, like it's like other people just do advice videos and shit Kevin Sam Kev, Kevin Samuels started recording in his car when he first started before he got the whole death scene and shit he started doing it which is like you know is this a maybe just a black guy thing maybe we just feel comfortable in our car you know in our Chevrolets but yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. But yeah, uh, Grand Logan childhood and it was really great. I felt really hyped, you know. It reminded me of a time back when anime fandom was like really good and like stuff. Like these fake new fans weren't in there, you know. We were still looked down upon. You know, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's really like seeing anime on the big screen, for real. It really, really is good seeing anime on the big screen. It was better than the last movie I saw. What's the Miyazaki movie? With the motherfucker when they keep singing a, a old country road song, I saw the last anime movie I saw in theaters, and um, so they brought their fucking baby, and it's like, which one? One of the popular? Is it a no? Not a cat returns. It's something else. I forgot what it was called, but the one they keep singing a country road, and I never seen it before until that day. Somebody brought their fucking baby. Baby's crying throughout the whole movie. I'm like, shut that kid up. God, the I didn't yell it, but it was annoying. Everyone kept singing a country road song. It was like it was a packed theater too. It was like one of those proper movies that I've never seen. I seen like maybe like a third, no, like maybe two thirds of his uh, catalog. But it was a real popular movie. And um, the cat, it wasn't a cat return. It was some, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this, the motherfucking. He was on the same road as me. I was on the opposite side of him, all the way down. The baby's crying. I'm like, you couldn't find a babysitter for this motherfucker for an hour and a half. You ain't got no friends. You can just say, hey, hey, watch the kid for an hour and a half. I'm going to a movie theater. Motherfuckers crying and shit. I mean, you had to bring this, this motherfucking baby to a movie theater to see a movie that's been out for 20 years on DVD. You know, damn well, probably on VHS. Kiki's delivery service is on VHS. That's probably it was on VHS too. But yeah, um, ruined my whole theater experience. Uh, you know, I was sitting next to somebody that kept eating. Like eating loudly, people don't. People, I don't think people, when people realize how loud they eat sometimes. And it's, I mean, it's a quiet theater. All you hear is like the speakers, and like she's sitting there going. At the end of the movie, I was like, I had to ask her, "Hey, what'd you eat? It sounded, it, it smelled pretty good." I actually want to say it sounded pretty good. The way you was smacking in my goddamn ear for two hours. It was, I guess it was. She said it was fish and chips. I guess maybe she's British because this we move theaters have like the restaurants and shit in them. So people go to the restaurant and they bring food in. For, I mean, you don't gotta just get such a stand food. Like this, at theater has a restaurant inside of it, and like she, like she was, it was French fries and and fish and chips, and she she was smacking like 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 for like the first like 20, 30 minutes of the movie, like all all I could hear in my ear, and this baby on the other side crying, yeah yeah, and that other side of my ear, I, I had I had stereo, I was pissed off in stereo. All right, I was pissed off in stereo. One side, other side, rah, rah, rah. Right, right, right. I'm sitting. I'm like, man. And then all together, old oh, country roads take me home. It was, it was a good. The, the whole experience was fucked up, man. The whole experience was fucked up. But yeah, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. Girl like a childhood Zen was a really great movie. So I'm gonna get out of here because it's fucking cold, dude. It's cold. The whole the whole country's cold except for like Southern Florida. What the fuck y'all got going on? I don't know. But all right, all right, guys. See you later. Thank you. Thank you for watching.